hey guys welcome back to the channel long time no see as you can see girls got her hair done too new style who's this <laughs> wanted to try something different because um these past few days i was actually at something called tabernacles it's where we go out in the wilderness um, my church and i and for seven days we dwell in tents and you know it's just practicing some of the righteous acts that our forefathers did regarding what's called the feast of tabernacles if you want to read more about it you can do so in i believe it's leviticus chapter 23 verses 33 on down i'll put the scripts on the screen <laughs> in any case but yeah um, we got back um, a few days ago and, you know, I finished unpacking, thank God. I'm still doing some laundry here, but we do have a guest that I want to show you guys. It's Milo! Say hi, Milo! Can you say hi to the peeps? No? Too occupied with your bowl? Milo! Milo, say hi! He says hi. <laughs> yeah, we have the dog here for a bit. Um, I wasn't really prepared for his arrival, so I'm actually buying him like some treats as we speak. We have his little dog food, and I bought him like this cute little box of toys off of Amazon. They had these like small little rubber balls in it, and I gave some to him, and of course, within maybe an hour, maybe, he demolished the whole thing. But I do have some more stuff in here, like, it came with these ropes he likes to play with. See, here's a different one. It has like a whole bunch of different stuff. And it even came with like little trash bags for him too. I thought it was so cute. I can be honest, I don't think I would get him those rubber balls again because with this dog, you know, he's a pit bull. They rip through things so fast. And within seconds, maybe the ball was demolished. And then he started to eat it and then it got in his poop. And I'm like, no, if I'm gonna get him something, I'm gonna get him the Kong brand. The ball we gave him now and this did end up happening it is from kong but this didn't happen probably for like months like it took him a while to get to this point because the material is so tough so unfortunately he did break through it but kong at this point i would say is the best brand for aggressive fighters like this pit <laughs> i am home now i'm so glad i'm off of work i don't go back to work till monday so i have a good few days off to just you know refresh myself and I'm so excited because we actually got, we as in my husband and I, got some clothes from this brand called The Lost Sheep. And my husband and I are going to make a little reel on Instagram with some matching stuff. So I'm excited about that. It's not going to be anything like crazy because, you know, my husband really doesn't like being on camera like that. So something simple. I'm going to show you guys then because I love these clothes, y'all. I love the color. So the brand is called Lost Sheep Fashion East 2022. What? There's that other ball I was looking for. <laughs> And I'm gonna throw that out while he's not looking. But yeah, it's the Lost Sheep fashion. And this is my husband's under here. And we also got like these pull down jackets, hoodies rather. And I paired like this cream shirt underneath that we can both wear. And we got our, um, my skirt and his pants underneath too. I'm not gonna show y'all too much though. You're gonna have to see on Instagram the final product. It's gonna be so cute. I just love doing matching stuff with my husband because it's so cutesy. Look at this little sweater I got for the dog on Amazon. It's called the dog face. You know they have, how they have the North face? They got the dog face too. I got it in like a 2X probably and it fits him really great. We did use it when he was on his walk. He's not really a fan of like clothing and stuff, but it's getting colder and I want to keep it warm. Yeah, for the most part, it's looking like a pretty chill day. I do have some other um, tasks I need to do as well. But yeah, we're pretty much chilling. I'm trying to figure out what I want to make for dinner tonight for my husband and I. But every time I ask him, babe, what do you want for dinner? He don't know. Can we talk about that for a second? Like how stressful it is coming up with something every single day. I was mentally not prepared for always having to think, what do I want to cook for dinner tonight? What do I get? Cause we don't really eat breakfast like that. You know, we eat lunch once in a while, but like dinner, that's, that's the meal. That's the meal at my house that just, I just get so fumbled by every day. I'm like, what am I going to make him? What am I going to make him? And it's the fact that he don't know either. So I'm like, oh my God. But I'm gonna figure something out. I'm gonna ask him probably on his lunch break, see if he knows then. Now it's about 10 in the morning and I'm gonna make some tea for breakfast. Like, again, like I told y'all, we don't really eat breakfast like that. Maybe the one day that we'll both eat breakfast is Sunday because he's off on Sundays, you know, he has weekends off. But usually I just skip breakfast and I go straight to like lunch or dinner. You know, we just have like one big meal for the day and we're good. So today I'm gonna have some tea I've been implementing like two cups of tea in the morning times 
I'll show you guys the teas that I do have. I actually need to buy more, come to think of it. I'm such a tea person. I have this green tea, blueberry, um, slim life tea from Yogi. Focus. I love this brand. Yogi literally has my heart and they need to sponsor me and stop playing. I also have the elderberry lemon balm immune stress tea. And I got these ones in specific because, you know, we're transitioning into the fall and a lot of people are getting sick and I wanted to build up my immune system beforehand so that when these changes happen, my body's not caught off, off guard, you know what I'm saying? Um, this one is not the Yogi brand. This is Traditional Medicinals and it's the Organic Throat Coat Eucalyptus flavored. I also add this in my tea too. And I mainly only take that when I have a sore throat, but I might take one today as a prophylactic measure just in case because there's a bug going around and I'm not trying to get sick. Like once, when I get sick, I get sick bad. And then when I get sick, my husband gets sick. And then when he gets sick, he gets me sick again. And it's gonna be this never ending cycle. I also have this tea by um, Celestial. It's the Honey Va Vanilla Chamomile Tea. I love me some chamomile tea, y'all. Chamomile tea, it is just so smooth and comforting. One of my favorite teas. And I have some other ones too, but like the ones that I just showed you guys, these are definitely my go-tos. It's tea time. Tea time. Do you guys remember that? And um, was it 101 Dalmatians? That was my movie. I think at one point the maid or the mother, the wife rather, said, okay, tea time, Pongo tea time, something like that. So every time I have tea, I think of that. Got my tea. Did you guys think I was joking when I said I make two cups of tea for breakfast? <laughs> I added a little sweet milk to both and I actually have it with some Surly Temple biscuits. And yeah, that's my morning meal. So it's much later in the day and tomorrow is the Sabbath. And I'm thinking about what I wanna make for my lunch. So I got this um, Asian salad from Stop and Shop. It comes with some cabbage, kale, green lettuce, some crispy garlic wontons and a sesame ginger vinaigrette. I never use the vinaigrette, I eat my salad dry. But I was thinking of pairing this with some sweet chai, sweet Thai chili meatballs. I think I'm gonna have that tomorrow with this. It has a nice little sweet, zesty theme to it. Angus beef meatballs for the win. Some people like turkey meatballs. I don't really care for it. I'm a beef meatball type of girl. And side note, this is some unleavened bread I made earlier this week. It's almost done. It's a caramel white chocolate chip unleavened bread. Ma Lord done tore this thing up. It's really good. I really put my foot in this one. I do have some more flavors that I plan to experiment with. Especially with caramel. Ooh, I have a good caramel in mind. I hope I can execute it though. I don't know. Also, let's just ignore this little stain on my shirt that I got from eating today. My shirt was a little hungry too. It ate and it left a little mess, but we're gonna ignore that. And side note, I got this auto mobile holder for your phone. It's supposed to be like a magnetic tripod I saw on TikTok. Of course I was influenced and I decided to get it. So let's see if it's any good. Am I the only one who doesn't read instructions? I'm very much a, let me try to figure it out on my own type of girl before I pick up some instructions. That's my problem. Oh, okay. <gasps> Why is it making that noise? Let me read this instructions, child. It doesn't even come with instructions. <laughs> Why the one time I actually want them, they don't have it. It just has like pictures on the side of the box. So let me see if I can figure it out. I was able to figure it out. This is like vacuum suction. That's why I was making that noise. And I was able to actually stick it on my refrigerator, but it won't go horizontal, only vertical. Or else when I try to stick it on um, horizontally, my phone falls off. But I would say it's still a win because I record mostly vertically anyways. So it's actually two days later. I didn't get to end the vlog just because I think my husband came home and that's when we started shooting the video for the um, the brand I was telling you guys about earlier. But we had a blast today. Today we just, you know, spent some time at home together. We just had a nice little date night. Went to the Cheesecake Factory. We got some really good desserts. Let me show y'all. When I tell you, it was so good. This is mine. I got the salted caramel cheesecake as per usual. My husband put me on this one and my life has never been the same. And my husband got the red velvet cheesecake. It looks a little dark on camera, but it's red. We literally prepared ourselves to indulge today, okay? We both went to the gym this morning. We ate very little. Like, when I tell you we went all out, we had our nice little drinks. We had a nice little appetizer, entree. Save them desserts for tomorrow because right now your girl is so full. He just took the dog for a walk, so I do have a little bit of alone time that I'm gonna use to freshen up a bit, you know, go shower and stuff. And I think we might end the night just by watching a little movie, you know, before work tomorrow. 
but yeah it's been fun you guys it's been real should i vlog more often i do miss vlogging but i don't really be doing that much like i feel like my life is kind of boring to record so you know what I, I don't go out like that i'm very much a homebody but if y'all want me to do more vlogs i can do more vlogs oh yeah let me before i end the video let me just do a little drip check so y'all got this little sweat skirt from asos got this oversized hoodie also from asos i think i got it a little too big i don't know i kind of like the vibe though it's very much oversized very comfortable i, I felt comfortable in it <laughs> And I wish I could get my husband on camera, but y'all know my husband really don't like being on camera. But one of these days, I hope to do a video with him. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next one. Shalom.